Vicky for Stopping By My Cooking Channel. Today I am so delighted to present this new way of making braised catfish, gakoto. Um, you, you know this dish quite well. It is served in all the Vietnamese restaurants and I know your mom probably made it at home, but I bet you this will be the only place where you can find it where we're going to be using the oven, the, um, the classic oven braised catfish that will be so easy to make you'll be like say what <laughs> anybody can make this so let's get to it um get yourself a pot of steamed rice ready and let's get going because it's gonna cook in the flash all right let's um let's see what are the ingredients are since we'll be using the oven make sure to use a pan that's oven proof i got one right there as you can see next you will see some garlic powder, light brown sugar, paprika, that over there in the corner, that is Vietnamese tep ma, or fried render uh, lard cubes. It's gonna be delicious, so don't make a face. Over there is our star, that is about a three pound catfish that's been cleaned and cut up in steaks. A little bit of green onion, and all the flavors we'll have, of course, is the fish sauce, some coca soda. This right here, my friend, is the caramel that's gonna give the, the braised catfish its beautiful golden brown color, and some fresh ground pepper. And that is all. I recently discovered the oven in making this because uh, sometimes you just wanted to get that chard on the top so the oven is the perfect way to broil the, uh, the catfish. All right, first we're gonna have uh, some ingredients that you see here, the cocoa soda. So now this is the sauce that has a third cup of fish sauce, a can of cocoa soda, and then a tablespoon of the dark caramel sauce available from your Vietnamese market. And then just swirl that in to dissolve everything before you put the fish in. We just place them right in here, one layer. You can see these are cut nicely, about an inch thick, courtesy of the local Vietnamese food market. And uh, make sure that, you know, they save the head as well. It's good stuff, so don't throw that away. I usually split that because it's too big to cook, so there you go. Place it in one layer all around. I have these on top so that the oven heat will create a nice, like charred look, you know, with the sweet on top. This is light brown sugar here. Right on top. And sprinkle it on top. One is for color. Paprika doesn't really have a strong taste, but it just looks so beautiful. Don't forget the awesome Good smelling and a little bit of hotness too, or catfish, fresh brown pepper. This little bit of green onion here, very southern Vietnam style, because you know I am Nguy Nam, as we say it in Vietnamese. And lastly, this is awesome stuff. Don't tell the doctor because it's full of calories, but you know, you only live once, so live a little. <laughs> so this is Tep Ma, or the rendered fat cubes here. Um, these are store-bought from the Vietnamese grocery store. It's so easy just to buy them. Um, I have to make an episode in making these fresh, so next time. All right, just sprinkle these as well, and the heat from the oven will continue to melt these down and make it like crunchy like croutons. All right, ta-da, ladies and gentlemen, we are done. And so now, let's go ahead and put the oven to um, 
435, 425, let me check. And then we put it right in for about 30 minutes and voila, it's going to be done. All right? <laughs> So that the top is nice and seared. Oh yeah. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. So now I'm going to have it on broil just for five minutes. That's why we have the skin on the catfish so that the, that the skin is protecting the meat so it's not too dried out. Now we have to let it cool down about 10 minutes or so, otherwise our teeth gonna fall off. It's on the side here, some veggies, you know, Vietnamese. We like to have some cool veggies to accompany the steamed rice and our braised catfish. I'm going to get a piece right here. It's nice and tender, white on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet, savory. This little crunch baby, mmm, awesome. And don't forget, there's bones inside, so um, be careful if you're serving this for the kids. Go ahead and pick out the bones for them. I hope you enjoy watching me cook braised catfish today. And uh, for certain, let me know how it turned out on your end when you make it at home for your family and friends, okay? Have a great day, see you soon. Bye, stick around. And also, I have the recipe on my website, Happy Half Cook, so check it out on there as well.